because I find that is the ideal rep range for this exercise. All right, what's up everyone? This video is being made. I don't know why I didn't put it in the last video, but this video is being made on how to program the snatch grip high pull. Like I said, I think it's the best trap and upper back exercise along with your side delts. Big bang for your buck exercise. If you do them properly, it literally hits everything from your traps to your calves. The only thing I can see lacking is chest and triceps. Now you can do them so many different ways from hang off pins, and then you can do them off blocks. Now, if you're gonna do these multiple times per week, it would be a good idea to maybe differentiate between the variations. Some are easier and you'll be able to push more weight and some are harder and you won't be able to push as much weight. Now, like I said in the last video, you should be aiming to get the bar anywhere from your nipple or sternum to your chin. Now, the bar doesn't actually have to get there. That just needs to be your intent. On your heaviest days, when you really try and push this for high weight, low reps, you probably won't be able to get it up to your chin. In fact, I guarantee you won't be able to get it up to your chin. But as long as the intent is there, I find if you try and get the bar to a certain point on your body, you're going to be kind of looking at it as you do it and then you'll end up pulling too much with your arm. You want the weight to move via triple extension, that's extending your ankles, your hips, your knees, all at the same time while explosively shrugging. And then the bar will just go where it goes. So it will only go as high as to how much power you're generating. Now, how to program frequency on this. If you were trying to get better at this exercise, you could honestly do it anywhere from two to four times per week. I don't necessarily suggest turning this into a primary movement. However, if you want to run an experiment and see if you really respond to this exercise, go right ahead. Five sets of three would be like a medium day. Now they don't all have to be the same way. You can ramp up. In fact, I recommend you ramp up. 10 sets of three would be a higher volume day and the weight would be lower. Although you could do like a, a reverse pyramid peak up to a weight and then come back down that's a bit of higher volume and then six sets of one like i said that would be considered a heavy day where you're resting longer and you're working up to a much heavier weight now you'll notice nothing is over three reps because i find that is the ideal rep range for this exercise a si six reps on a snatch grip high pull to me that's the equivalent to a 20 rep squat this is an explosive movement that requires all your force even three reps might be too much, depending on how much is on the bar. I suggest capping all your sets at three reps because you can only be explosive for so many reps. So that's what I would say. If you're going with a heavy day, six sets of one, medium day, five sets of three, and a lighter, high volume day, 10 sets of three. So it all depends on what your goal. This will build strength, size, and explosiveness. I would program this the same if any of those are your goals. Remember, this is not for Olympic weightlifting. This is strictly for building up your yoke area, your traps, your upper back, and your calves. If you have any questions for me, drop them in the comments. And as always, class is dismissed.